Hello and welcome to yet another tutorial by Davies Media Design. My name is Michael Davies and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to customize your GIMP user interface. This is going to be using GIMP 2.10.14 which at the time of this tutorial is the latest version of GIMP. But of course, before I get into that, I want to direct you guys over to my website at daviesmediadesign.com. As always, I have tons of GIMP and Inkscape tutorials on here, as well as my GIMP book of layers and GIMP and Inkscape help articles, so definitely check that out. You can enroll in my GIMP 2.10 Masterclass from Beginner to Pro Photo Editing on Udemy. You can enroll in any of my Skillshare classes by visiting GIMPschool.com. And you can get more with a premium membership to Davies Media Design. Your premium membership will include access to my GIMP Help Center app, ebooks I've written including the GIMP book of layers, and other exclusive content not found on YouTube. You can start with a seven day free trial and I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. All right, a lot of you have been asking how I get my GIMP theme to look dark and how my icons be colorful. So here is my current GIMP setup. You guys might have a slightly different setup. You might have a light background here and you might have a single color for your color icons. I prefer this setup because it's similar to the legacy setup while also integrating some of the new user interface features found in GIMP 2.0. 10 or newer. So let's just go ahead and dive right in here. So if you want to change your theme and have it look like mine, just go to edit preferences. This will pull up your preferences dialog. You have a lot of settings here to choose from. Everything we're looking for is under interface here. So for starters, we can go to theme. So here are the various types of theme colors you can have for GIMP. Mine is set to dark. I can also change this to gray, for example. I'm just going to cycle through each of these light and then system. So this is like the original, you know, GIMP 2.8 and below color scheme here. So if you guys are used to the older versions, you might want to go with this, but I do tend to like the dark theme now, now that I'm used to it. So I'll just stick with dark. So that's how you change the color of your theme. Let's get into the icon style and sizes. So if I come over here, we have icon theme. So I'll click on that. So right now mine is set to color, so all of my icons are nice and colorful, but I have some other options here. I have legacy, and this is what the older version of GIMP used to look like with the icons. You can also go with symbolic. This is sort of like what Photoshop has going on, so if you are a user who recently switched over from Photoshop, this will probably work best for you for now. And then we have symbolic inverted, which is the same as symbolic, it's just darker. This is not going to work with the dark theme, but I can uh, come over here to my theme options, change this to something like light or system theme, and there you can see what that looks like. Let's go back to dark and come back to icon theme. I'm going to keep this set to color. That's just what I like having mine set to. Moving on to adjusting the size. So my icons are set to large right now. If you come over here, there's a drop down. You might have yours set to guess icon size from resolution. That is going to change your icons based on the resolution of your computer screen. So these are kind of small. I don't like the way that looks. And a lot of you might also be experiencing small icons like that. There's also the use icon from the theme option. That's just going to choose whatever size icon the GIMP theme uses automatically. And I'm pretty sure this is based on your resolution as well. So it might just be the same result there. And then the final option, which is what I recommend, is the custom icon size. So when you select that option, you can now come over here and choose between small. So here's the small icon set, or you can go all the way up to huge. And if you just prefer to have your icons easy to see and easy to find, you might want to go with huge here. But I like to go a little bit in between, so I go with large, and that's how I got my icons to be this size. You can also adjust the toolbar here, the toolbox. So you can move it in so it's a little bit more narrow or move it out so it's a little bit more wide just depending on what you prefer. So once you have all the settings the way you want them, just come over here and click OK. That will apply your settings. If they haven't shown up yet, try exiting out of GIMP and then reopening it and that might get everything to change to the new settings that you've set up for your GIMP. For those of you who prefer to read the help article, I do have a help article version on this subject. It's available in 26 different languages and I'll link that in the description of the video. Otherwise, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you could subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Davies Media Design. Don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can also check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.